of those films developed uh, different ways of approaching the gameplay and illustrating the gameplay. And we came back on the sixth film to sort of really see it for the last time. I never got a chance to do Quidditch in five because it didn't really sort of serve the story as much. But in Half-Blood Prince, we have two Quidditch sequences. One's a kind of comic Quidditch trial. Ron's trying out for goalie. Keepers need to be quick, agile. I like my chances. So we have a sequence which is unlike any other Quidditch sequence because it's got some gags in it. And then, then we have a match, a full-blown match. We realised this was probably going to be the last time we have a Quidditch match, so we wanted to use everything that we'd learnt in the past and use the technology to push things and make it as dynamic as possible. David Yates gave us a wonderful brief in that he wanted to explore the way in which stunts and Quidditch flying and visual effects and CG all could work together in a very interactive way. So we were commissioned to experiment with the physicality of Quidditch and could really see what those rigs could give us. 